everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Good day. Open row set, yes please. So recently, folks, I had a client that had a large set of data sitting in their blob storage in ADLS Gen 2, but they're making the migration over to Microsoft Fabric, and they're deploying workspaces, deploying data warehouses, and they had the question, can I query my blob storage and ADLS Gen 2 data from my data warehouse? And yes, we can. We can do that now with the availability of Open Roset. So some advantages to having Open Roset available to us is we can browse and explore our data in that ADLS Gen 2 or blob storage, and it can help us with our ingestion scenarios. Note there on the screen that we cannot do this with one lake yet. And also, I love the authentication method. We use Entra ID as our pass-through method. All right, on the screen here, you'll see that I have my Fabric Data Warehouse already configured. I'm gonna pop up here on the screen a little bit of a workshop that Brad Schott put together and he gave at FabCon. The link will be down in the description of the video, but that's what I used here to set up my particular environment. I've set up some tables in my DBO schema as well as my staging schema. And once again, the link to be able to set up this will be available. Here you can see I have my tables right underneath DBO. And then I'll also have tables underneath my stage schema here. All right. So with our environment set up, what do we need to do next? We need to look at open row set. Quick refresher here to get our SQL endpoint. We're going to go up to our gear. We're going to go over on the right hand side over here. We're going to select SQL endpoint. We're going to select copy. And we are going to use that to connect via SSMS. All right, with that selected, let's go over to SSMS, select connect, select database engine. We're going to paste in the SQL endpoint here in the server name, and we're going to connect through Microsoft Entra MFA. All right, with us all magically hooked up to our Fabric Data Warehouse via SSMS, we could start looking at Open Roset. These links here you see on the screen will be in the description of the video. It includes the workshop that Brad Schott put together. Let's look at Open Red Set. First thing I want to look at is SP Describe First Results Set. We're going to go ahead and execute this Open Row Set here. And when we execute that, we're going to see something very cool it is going to provide us with the different data types and their sizes. What Open Row Set is doing is it is inferring our data types. I want you to keep this function tucked away in the back of your mind for later. We're going to show how this can be useful when we're loading data from our ADLS Gen 2 to our Fabric Data Warehouse. I want to also make a note that SP Describe First Results Set can also be query, can be used to query a CSV. As a matter of fact, anything we do today could be used against a CSV. Next, I want to use Select Top 10 from Open Row Set. We're going to query our Fact Sale Parquet data, and I'm going to throw in a where clause here to show its flexibility. Now, note on the screen here that I'm going to have this with clause commented out, but we could use our with clause to define our data type rather than allowing for open row set to infer it for us. And we're going to look at that a little bit later in the video. Let's go ahead and run this. So this is the investigation phase, right? We can see that it's returning our data and then open row set is giving us the data that we want. The next thing we need to do is we need to utilize this data, right? So we're going to run an insert into we're going to select from that open row set, right? We're going to select our fact sale data. And you can see that it loaded a little over 60,000 rows. We can go ahead and do a count just to validate that. And you can see once again, a little over 60,000 rows. Those match. We could also go over here into Object Explorer, right mouse click on our table, select top 1,000 rows. It's going to write our query there. And look at that. Woo! That's right. We've got data loaded to our staging fact table, our stage fact table. All right, with our data loaded into our stage fact table, let's do something else cool here with respect to uh, loading our data. All right, we are going to do a create table as with our open row set. So 
if you note here on the screen, rather than allowing Open Rowset to infer the data, I'm using a with clause. And I'm going to define those particular data types for those columns, not allowing for Open Rowset to infer that. So let's go ahead and run that. Let's go, go ahead and create that table. And it's going to load the data from our 2013 year. Let's go over to our tables, hit refresh. And you can see here that it created our stage fact table via CTAS, create table as select. Let's go ahead and select top 1000 rows from that. You can see we've got data loaded, but also what I wanna show is that you can see the with clause over here on the right side matches the data types on the left side. And that's because rather than inferring, I define those data types with the with statement. All right, we've used Open Row Set to browse and explore. We've shown how it can improve ingestion for our ETL and ELT. Also, we noticed with the Entre Pass Through authentication, gone are the days of having to create the master key, the scope credential, and the external data source. So it makes it a lot easier to explore our data. One thing that I'm going to pop up on the screen here that I didn't show in the demo is we could also create a view on top of this open row set or using this open row set so we can make it easier for our folks to explore that data. Open row set, just another piece of the puzzle that the program team has added to the Microsoft environment to make it more usable to make it flexible to allow us to adopt new scenarios in this case i used it to browse and explore the data that we have sitting over there in our adls gen 2 i also used it to load that data we investigated that data and we once we were happy with what that data looked like we used it to improve our etl or our elt processes are you using Open Rowset today? Are you using it for things that I didn't think of or our program didn't think of? Share with us down in the comments of the video. And as always, be good to each other. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.